Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and I'm continuing my playthrough of Fine Love or Die Trying. Now, I've just gotten on the island. Anyone home? My, eye dr my eyes are drawn to a girl wearing a white dress and pacing around the lobby. Hey, what's up? Whoa, didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, it really it's really you, Silverain. That's me. How did you know my name? It hasn't been that long, has it? It's me, Yuri. Yuri, uh... I, I cannot pronounce these last names. Fushik Fushikawa? I'll just call it Yui for now. Went to the same high school way back? Come again? Sheesh, you haven't changed one bit. Always forgetting everything important. Grr. Wait, wait, calm down. I know how it sounds, but I've got amnesia. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't lie to your student council president. That's perjury. It's true. I Really, I wouldn't lie about this. Really can't remember anything. Really, I wouldn't joke about this promise. Oh. Can't believe you forgot. On second thought, that may be a good thing. How on earth could it be good forget to forget everything? You know, moving on from the past is the best way to live and all that. Everyone has things from high school they'd rather forget, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Lots and lots of cackling. Is, is she a Leandere, I'm wondering, underneath the surface? Seems like you haven't changed. Looks like you just used to fall around back then. Uh, fall around in like a family f friendly sort of way, Pinky promise. Okay. It's good to see you too, Yuri. What brings you out here? Oh, you know. To be honest, dating apps or shows and all aren't really my thing. But I saw you were. What, what are you making me say? And besides that, you're welcome to the mansion. It's ginormous. I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself asking me and, and show you where my room is. Oh, wait a second, I haven't cleaned it up yet. <laughs> oh god, she's a hyper bundle of energy. She roughed off before I get a word in. Somehow I get the sense this has happened before. Guess I'll see her later. Let's go back to exploring the house. Where to next? Not many save slots. Hopefully I won't need them. So let us go to the library. A library is like a library out of a movie. Grand, majestic. Nothing like your average library, which becomes a pawn set after closing time. I took a few steps forward and noticed a girl with red hair at the back of the library. She was reading a magazine or so it seemed from first glance. If you craned your head a bit to the side, you could see another book hidden behind the magazine. A slash B testing after the apocalypse, first edition by DB. Hey, what are you reading? Oh, this? Just another elementary. I mean, absolutely. F fetch truth T bomb, yes? What? Can you believe this one celebrity would be like date another celebrity? I can't even, it's almost like they're people. I'm guessing she's putting on a facade of um, being dumber than she actually is for, you know, for being a fashion model or something. Also, I like the portrait in the background. That's quite interesting. Little details. The background's really nice in this game. I can see what you're actually reading, you know. Oh, gosh, that's so embarrassing. Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're actually reading sounds a lot more interesting. Where I come from, people make fun of people who... Do what I do, I guess. The library libraries another place to film porn after closing time. <clears throat> I'm Scarlet, by the way. You're Silver Rain, correct? That's me. Nice to meet you, Scarlet. It's nice to meet you too, Silver Rain. I'm curious. I'm curious. So, what are you actually reading? Thought you'd never ask. Yeah, let me show. Ah. Scarlet dropped the magazine, and the book behind it fell on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Ah. She ran away so fast, I didn't even manage. I didn't even have a chance to say anything more. I guess there's not so much left to do here. I'll head on down to. All right. So there was no context of what the other magazine was. That's a little interesting. So was that a double bait and switch that she's re got one magazine, they got a book behind it, and then has like another trashy magazine on the side? Oh well. Well, up to the kitchen. We we're told we could get free food. These ribs are well done. 
Thank you, ma'am. They were supposed to be medium rare. Remake them all before the hour's up. I know we should have just worked on accounting. <laughs> then I have just the opportunity to view one. I bought one of those neighbouring islands and I need someone to balance the books. Please have that finished by nightfall and don't forget about the ribs. I take it back. The side dishes are magnificent too. Keep it up, you diligent worker, you. Oh, shucks, you're too kind, man. I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. While it's amazing, she even volunteered to help us load the peons. This soup is simply delightful. Good work, Bray. Thank you, Violet. Gosh, she's a hundred times better than when I... Than when boss... Before bosses are around. I couldn't agree more, bro. Well, if you insist on taking so long with, on the meatballs, perhaps I'll use your meat... Oh! Meatballs instead. Just kidding. I further thought you'd never need them anyway, so perhaps... She's... <laughs> Alright, she's nice to those two, but it's picking on this guy. Fair enough. She's the sort of person that picks on picks someone in the group to bully, and then everyone else she's kind to. I recommend I recognise the sort of people from school. Oh, pardon me, I didn't see you there. Just one second. I've got to clean up the soup that one set on fire earlier. How is that even possible? Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Evidently, the same is true if you lack a mind completely. Ah, uh, public education. Just kidding. Hey, that's uncalled for. Actually, we think the same about you all the time. You can confirm that. I wish Mum had never had you guys. Harsh. Apologies for the delay. I'm finished now. Violet, 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 or Valentine. Pleasure is yours, Silver. Right? You already know who I am. I imagine each contestant. contestant I imagine each contestant does flying all the way here for a whole week for a blind date. No one could be that unintelligent. I do hope you're worthy of being the suitor. You'll find that courting a lady is. A different sport from the other girls. It's true, she's one of the two daughters of the Valentine family. They're even richer than the royal black media. Alright, free your pay cut by 50%. Enjoy your even shitter instant noodles. Well, that's harsh. Is it too late to go back to school? I am, to say, fascinated. I'd like to see what makes you so special. You look rather average to me. Well, I won't be picking you as one of my two ladies to try and woo. I already can't stand your presence a few seconds in. I guess you'll be in for a surprise, Violet, as I completely ignore you. I do like it. Definite explosion blasted through the kitchen. Spaghetti tonight will, however, say a little different. I hope you do not mind. You're not, you're not really putting one on the menu, right? One, why is there a hole in the ceiling? Looks like they'll be busy in the kitchen for a while. Decided to head over to the games room. Okay, I see her being one of the major favourites. Old school t shirt, though. As I walked into the games room, my eyes were drawn to a girl playing on a handheld game device. She looked deep in thought as her fingers moved and pressed the buttons at a lightning speed. Woo, new high score. Oh man, it's a shame I can't submit it. What's up, dude? Do you even know what happened to the internet? What? Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. I'm literally gonna die at this rate. You okay? Tell my followers they were the best. <laughs> Blah. What does the person even do in this situation? Are you okay? No worries, Silver Rain. She'll be fine. Oh, hey, cat. What's up? We have to turn off all the internet to make sure no spoilers for the show get out. Terror is just a little overdramatic about it. You'll get used to it. You tell me I'm being overdramatic when you literally sent us back into the Stone Age. With games, electricity and all the other things, but still! Oh, I was so excited to stream for everyone when I got here. You're a streamer? Yes sir, that's... that I am. Mostly a variety game streamer, but I stream real life too. I can't now. Mwah. Maybe you could just record things and post them later? Guess that's what I'll have to do. It's so last year. By the way, what's this whole show about? Wait, wait, what? I honestly have no idea what I just got into regarding pretty much everything to do with the show. You didn't even do a little bit of research before you decided to come here. Hey, hey, don't get in my face about this. From what I heard from Cat, you didn't either. 
hey, amnesia and not doing a little bit of research is totally different. I forgot to, to do my due diligence and you forgot your life. Same deal. It's not the same deal. Anyway, it's a dating show called Fine Love. Cat can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from any generic TV dating show. My name's Silver Rain. I'm what Cat calls a suitor. So it's like a visual novel dating sim, except I'm stuck in it rather than getting to play it myself. I guess so. Well, since this is a game... I'm gonna win it! I'm not sure that's the right way to approach dating, but... Look out, well, Terra's coming! <laughs> okay, she's amusing... and... absolutely clueless, and she always wins. Is she going to be the cover of a both a target and a love rival as she starts trying to woo the other girls? Terra ran off with a fiery look in her eyes. Got no idea where she's headed. Ooh, <laughs> There's nothing else to do here. Might as well head over to the backyard. Oh, calling the backyard is like calling the Titanic a leak. The field goes farther than the eye can see. My eyes are quickly drawn to a girl running laps across the field. She's quick, she's getting closer, closer, closer. I just slid to a stop right in front of me. Very cute design. Howdy, I'm Ali. Nice to meet you. You're Silver Aim, right? That's. Uh, I don't really care. Care for a jog, though? Um. You know what? I'm gonna try that. Get a bit of exercise. Oh, that sounds. Alright, let's go! If you grab my hand and pull me over at breakneck speed. Uh, she's so fast, it takes all I have to keep pace with her. The wind in my face feels nice, though. For some reason, I feel like I've missed this. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone this fast. I don't, I think my choice really mattered there. Come on, come on, cue it up. We'll have you tip top shape in no time, soldier. What a nice foresight floating my head were thrown out by my newly signed drill sergeant. So, uh, I thought I signed up for a dating show, not a fitness show. Alright, alright, I'm starting to hit a comfortable pace. Is that all you got? At least widening the distance between us with a smile on her face. Call me simple, but I started to run as fast as I could. Gained more and more speed and watch Ali slowly... Alright, she slowly fell behind. Oh, you're running faster even than my dad did when he left. Ooh! That's a silly comment. I can't see slow down and my face can sort of shock. Just as I a single moment, she caught it quickly surprised me. I'm kidding, jeez. No I need to take everything so seriously. Faster died before I ever got a chance to. Oh, I am so... Don't be, I killed him myself? Look, look on your face, is hilarious. Don't worry so much, Silver, and I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't know, she's a bit all over the place. Where am I? I felt my heart start to give out from less from running and more from the emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Finished jogging a few minutes later. I'm completely out of breath. Close. Well, I've already left a good impression on her, which is nice. Let's run again sometime. Fell to my knees to catch my breath and watch as she walked away effortlessly. But you'll have to be faster than that to keep up with me, suitor. Laid on the grass like an ob obese walrus gasping for air. Is this how I die? Nope, I'm probably going to get shot at this right. I have to be worried about telling Ali the truth of how hard it is to breathe. I think I'll live at least for now. I rolled into my back and relaxed for a moment. Alright, alright, enough messing around. You're on the show and you're not on un the page front. Come to the front of the mansion. Guess that includes me. I should start, he start heading over. So we've had all the introductions and I guess we're going to now have to pick who we're going to go for. I'm very tempted by Terra and Yui, just because the sort of the childhood friend who's come onto the show specifically to see me. It seems a bit of a, well, dick move not to at least talk to her. But we'll see how things go. I'll catch you next time.